Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. If you are an avid uh, watcher of streams and videos or, you know, you, you watch content creators, then you would know about an an incident not really an incident because they swear to heaven and back was planned but an event that happened on a kick the other day and it was something that broke kicks tos and it was something that should have never have been streamed as content in the first place and what happened was that piece of shit ass Ice Poseidon and piece of shit ass Sam Pepper? They, um, I guess found some random dude off the street, uh, hired an escort, and then told, brought them back to some place, and then told the escort that, oh, are you okay with being filmed? Filmed, not live streamed, right? So, with that in mind, it was pretty fucking obvious what they had uh, set up to do on kick. And thank the heavens above, whatever God exists out there, that someone decided to get in contact with the young lady because allegedly she was like 20 or something. Either way, somebody contacted her and was like, Ayo, hey, that's not the move. You need to go. Because it was being live streamed to about, oh, just under 20,000 fucking people. And so, it was pretty obvious that they were setting this whole thing up so that they could stream someone getting some ass. And when she got that text and was trying to get the fuck up out of there, uh, she was trying to leave. And the guy was actively preventing her from leaving and anyone with common sense knows how those situations tend to go and what could have happened and you have people out here being like that's not sexual assault you're reaching you're this you're that and it's like you cannot be that demented on the inside to not see the problem with what could have happened right because it was obvious what they were intending to do but what could have happened could have been way worse to that woman and because of that um that has led to another surge of People being on like, I told you so, and everybody's bad on kick, even though this is orchestrated by two fucking people. And I'm going to harp on that point. This is orchestrated by two fucking people. But, <coughs> but people out here like, oh, uh, see, I, I told you so. Everybody on kick is bad. You stream on kick, you're a bad person. have no morals. I've said it before on YouTube videos and on streams and whatnot, and I will say it again. Just because some individual decides to stream on kick because the platform itself has a bad rep does not make everybody on the platform bad. Because if you want to play that game, you can look at YouTube, you can look at Twitch. Since people want to play that game, right? And the reason that, that it has me frustrated is because once again... All these people that have less than nothing to do with the dumb, crazy shit that goes on on the website are being unfairly judged and are being pointed at as, look, see, these people have no morals. They're doing it all for the money. Spoiler alert, uh, pretty much a large majority of people that stream are doing it for the money. Like, you know, for myself, for example, it's not all about the money for me. It's because I like sharing my experiences. And the money that I make on the side, 
is cool. However, the money that I get from Twitch, I could, I should, be getting like 50% more than what I get. But because Twitch takes 50% of everything that people get, people went over to kick because when people was posting numbers and records of the money that they were making and people were giving, you know, testimonies and experiences about how they have been able to not, they've been able to get, get rid of their debt, get rid of their credit cards, pay their loans off, keep up with rent, keep groceries on the table. People do what they have to do in order to survive because things are getting expensive and shit is getting tough out here. There, there, there is someone that I watch on Twitch on kick when I have the time for it. There's someone that I watch who on many an occasion was like, yeah, I went over to kick and I was able to pay my bills. I, I was able to stop from, stop from being homeless and hungry because I decided to give this platform a shot. And just like how damn near everyone has said at this point, just because they stream on kick does not mean that they endorse the crazy shit that goes on there. They do not support the fucking Aiden Ross. They do not support that one jackass that just got arrested for being a menace in Japan. They do not support the Ice Poseidons. They do not support the horrible fucking people that are on there. They don't like the Neons. They don't like... They don't like the shit people. They don't like them. They don't support them. They don't endorse them. They are just choosing to stream on another platform that objectively helps them survive financially, right? And the reason that I'm so irritated about it is because you have all these genuinely moralless people out here doing the grandstanding be like haha i told you so oh look everyone in that platform is a bad person because this and this and that no that's not how this works because the people that are doing that and that are saying that they have no morals they have been caught endorsing and supporting horrible fucking things but again just like how i say Every time the kick conversation gets brought up, just because you dislike one or more people, very specific people, that does not mean every single person on the site is a bad person. A lot of people are simply doing what is necessary for them to survive. And it's always the people, it's always the people that are either in a place of privilege, or they don't stream at all, or they have a job, or they, hell, some people don't even fucking work. Talking about, oh, well, if you use this, you're bad. I would rather you stream on Twitch, where you were struggling financially, instead of being on the green website, in cake. And it's like, bro. Do not misunderstand me. Whoever sees this, do not misunderstand me. I have spoken at length about the things that I don't like about Kick. I have a whole ass video from six months ago saying that I don't think Kick as a platform will last very long because of the controversies, because of the potential lawsuits, but also because I didn't see the things in place to sustain a long running streaming website, okay? That is why I'm not all that confident that Kick is going to last as long as Twitch as a streaming website. I've talked about the controversies. I've talked about the problems. I've talked about the issues that the site itself has. I've talked about the things at a technical level, okay? But to judge people and to look down upon people doing what they have to do to survive... From the deepest pits and the darkest depths of my very being, fuck you. Because if it was you in that situation that was struggling, you would not want thousands upon thousands and droves upon droves of people that don't have an opinion of their own looking down on you and judging you for doing what's necessary. You wouldn't want that happening to you, so... 
Why do you feel confident enough to do it to them? You as a person have deep, deep intrinsic problems that you need to fix. I cannot fathom and understand the people who say this to people that they weren't watching in the first place, that they weren't supporting in the first place, like they have the gall and the right away to fucking judge people for doing what they gotta do, right? There are people out there who look down upon OnlyFans people and sex working people for doing that to make money, but if that's what they gotta do, that's what they gotta do, okay? There are people who have such a hate boner for people using a certain platform that, again, as you said, they would rather people be on the verge of homelessness every single month, not having food, not having rent, not having anything in comparison to streaming and making content on a platform that they have said numerous times that they do not fully support or endorse, but that also helps them make more money, that helps them live. As, as many a problem that exists with Kick as a platform by the people running the platform because the goddamn co-founder or CEO, whatever the hell his position is at Kick, Eddie, he was in the stream gifting subs, I I encouraging what was going on, right? That is an objective problem. No one is condoning this. No one with common sense, I want to add. No one with common sense is condoning this. No one with common sense is supporting this. That is an objectively bad thing to do as someone with that much power on a platform. To say that because of the actions of three people, everybody on the website has no morals. That everybody on the website is a bad person. That everybody on the website is just doing this for the money. That everybody on the website is fucked up and evil. You should block them. They're not a safe space, etc, 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 etc. Go to hell. If you do that, if you engage in it, if you support it, go to hell. Because you don't know what those people's positions are like. You don't know what the hell changes they had to make. You don't know what compromises they had to make. Go to hell. Hell is where you belong. You are disgusting. You are a horrible person on the inside at the end of the day. And that is not going to change in my eyes or in the eyes of most other people anytime soon. Fuck you. And at the same time, I'm not going to turn a blind eye to the fact that, yes, these problems are problems, and that needs to change. Whether that's from people boycotting the website, whether that's from people not spending money on the website, whether that's from people not doing anything to boost the site's metrics, things need to change, and they should have changed a long time ago. When the controversies first started happening, when they were signing on fucking shitty ass people like Aiden and Rice Gum and Fousey Tube and all that. That shit should have changed ages ago. The issue is that it's not so immediately easy just to be like, oh, hit the off button. Because that comes with a whole slurry of problems. To say that the people that call out the shit with the prop the shit with the platform as problems say they turn a blind eye to everything else is wrong that sets so heavily heavily disingenuous and the other issue is that it's not like change happens right away change takes time change has to be facilitated by people who want change to actually take place and unfortunately unfortunately the reality of the situation is that the people who run the website and the people that have high numbers and quote unquote power as far as viewers and revenue streams go on the website they are not going to change as people anytime soon the the kick twitter account put out such a nothing statement the other day about the problem at hand and as far as i know at the time of me talking about it on stream i haven't seen or heard anything about 
extreme TOS changes, more TOS enforcement, things like that. I haven't seen anything about it, but I'm pretty sure that at some point it will come. Are people going to listen? I don't know. Things aren't just going to change at the drop of a goddamn hat because hell, there are things here on Twitch that still need to change and it hasn't happened yet. There are things on YouTube that hasn't changed that needs to happen immediately, right? Don't sit here and judge all the users of a platform for the actions of people that ain't got shit to do with them. You are not a good person if you sit here and do that. You got problems. Problems that gotta get fixed soon. I, again, as I said earlier, I've had my problems and my issues with Kick. And I and I was one of the first people to be like, I'm not going to stream on the website until I see some I see some real ass data. I see some numbers. I saw what I want to see. I streamed there for a little bit, but I came to the realization that I currently do not have the time or the energy to work on building up another platform. But I still watch the people that I choose to watch on there because, hey, they're all right people. I'm not out here watching the super crazy toxic people contributing to the literal detriment of the website. I'm not engaging with that people and neither are a lot of other people but people are so quick es ooh. especially people on twitter that don't stream that don't make content people are so eager to be on their damn high horse just to have something to say and to do the whole i told you so thing bro the people going around doing the i told you so they do not care about the problem at hand they just want to feel like they are right that's all they want. That's all they care about. And I've seen plenty of people, plenty of people doing that. Yesterday, I was uh listening to a couple of listening to a couple of Twitter spaces of a lot of kit creators being very, very vocally outraged about what was going on and offering up solutions of what they can do as a collective to try and stop this shit from happening, stop this shit from getting worse. But still, still, you had people coming up into those spaces and quote tweeting it and subtweeting it, talking about, oh, look at all these people trying to justify being on a bad platform and yada, 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 and justify them making their pathetic little little money and justify them wanting to continue to use this and continue to use that. And it's like, bro, who are you? Who are you to sit here and dictate the genuine raw ass efforts of people who actually want to make a fucking change. Who are you? Amazon and Google have massive numbers of cases abusing their work and sexual abuse. Should we boycott Twitch YouTube because of that? Yeah, see, exactly. People people want to play the whataboutisms with this and this and that, and they want to put all the blame on this and all the blame on that. But when it comes to everyday services that people use, and then they want to talk about, oh, so you want to do this, you want to bring up that, they don't want to do that. Because they just want to feel validated and vindicated towards this one thing that they have this huge level of hate towards. Just so that they can feel like they are right. They don't care about the real situation. They don't care about people affected. They don't care about the genuine good-hearted people out there. They just want to be right in whatever facet that may be they just want to be quote unquote right in the situation so they can have something to say and it seems but some people have such a double standard not, not yeah pe people sure do love to use a double standard card when it benefits them everybody that used the platform is not a bad person there are so many people and i said it earlier and i'm gonna say it again there are so many people out there who moved over to kick either to try and extend their community to build a another community or because twitch wasn't doing it for them because the other thing is that a lot of people that were streaming on twitch some of some of them unfortunately were not doing youtube at the same time so it's not like they could just go to youtube and start making money over there and if they were doing YouTube at the same time, nine times out of 10, they weren't making all that much money from YouTube. So now the only other option that they had was, okay, I'll try this other platform 
And by me being on this platform, it doesn't mean I encourage or support the stuff that happens on a platform. They're just doing it so that they don't lose everything that they have. And look at that. People ain't homeless. People have money because Twitch wasn't doing it for them. So stop judging for doing what was necessary for them. Because what was necessary for them does not involve you, the person trying to unfairly judge them and condemn them and spit venom on their name.